Okay, question 11 in the June 23 paper one at Excel exam series for A level. We're looking at a logarithms question where we've got the value V pounds of a mobile phone T months after it was bought is modeled by this. So V equals AB to the T. We don't know what A and B are just yet, but we've been told that we've been given this figure too, where it shows the linear relationship between the log base 10 of V and T. The line passes through these points as shown and using these points, first of all, we need to find the initial value of the phone. Now, the initial value is when t equals zero. And from here, we can see then, when t is zero, log to base 10 v is three. And using our understanding of logs, that means 10 to the power of three going to give us our value for v so v is 10 to the power of 3 so the initial value is 1000 pounds according to this model and that's part a done now for part b it says find a complete equation for v in terms of t so we want to rewrite this giving the exact value of a and giving the value of b to three significant figures so in order to do that, first of all, let's look at this linear function and work out the equation of this straight line. In order to do that, first of all, we need the gradient. So our gradient using y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. In this case, that will be 2.79 minus 3 over 10 minus 0. If you work that out on your calculators, that will give you minus 0 0.021. So that's our gradient. So rewriting this as a straight line, we know the y-intercept is 3. So therefore, log to base 10 v, which is our y value in this case, is equal to minus 0 0.021 t, the gradient times t, plus our y-intercept which is three. And what we're gonna do is looking at this equation here, I'm gonna convert that using logs so that we can compare coefficients. So if V equals A, B to the power of T, taking log on both sides, that's log to base 10, A, B, T, so using our laws of logs, let's separate those two out. So log to base 10 B equals log to base 10 A plus, because they're being multiplied, I can rewrite that as log to base 10 B to the T. And I'm just gonna rearrange this and also use the power law of logs there to move that to the front. So we get log to base 10 B equals I'm going to move that to this side, so log to base 10 t log to base 10 b plus log to base 10 a. Now, these two equations have to be the same because we've turned converted this into a linear format. So first of all, let's compare the coefficient of t. In this case here, that means log to base 10 b is the same as minus 0 0.021. So log to base 10 B equals minus 0 0.021. And from there, we can work out then 10 to the power of this will give us B. So B equals 10 to the power of minus 0 0.021, which we work that out. B equals to 0 0.952. 796 and we only need it to three significant figures so b equals 0 0.953 similarly we can compare our 
plus C, and this is a constant here. So you're looking at that, we can see that log to base 10 of A equals three. So that means that A will be 10 to the power of three. So A equals 1000. Now we know what A and B are, we can re rewrite our function. So V equals A, which is 1000. And it said give an exact value for, and that's gonna be times B 0 0.953 to the power of T. So we found a complete equation for V in terms of T, giving the exact value of A and giving the value of B to three significant figures. Now, the last bit to do here, it says exactly two years after it was bought, the value of the phone was 320 pounds. We need to use this information to evaluate the reliability of this model. Well, using that formula, Now here, the key thing here, and so many people make this mistake, they put to the power of two, because it's two years, but don't forget it says T months after it was bought. So two years equals 24 months. So therefore that's gonna be to the power of 24. And if we work that out, we get 314 pounds 94. And comparing that to, so exactly two years after it bought, the value was 320 pounds. So therefore it's very close to, so I would say therefore the model is reliable.